Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video with the Mega Professional PW5065. As promised in my update video that I'd do this and it is quite late at night so it is. I've got the Mega on the boil over Mega on the boil wash. Um and I'm doing work on this wee one and I thought I'd take the time um now, even with how late it is, um to do a video on it and yeah, get this out of the way. One of the things I'm asked quite a lot about this machine um, is how do you get one of these machines to run on a 13 amp socket or is it even possible to have it running on a 13 amp socket? Um, this is obviously a Mego Professional. Um, this washing machine is made for the likes of nursing homes um, and businesses. So it is. And because of that, the wattage in the machine is normally a lot higher. So it is, it's normally like over 5,000 watts. And the reason for that isn't because of the amount of electronics in it, even though it's got quite a lot to it. Um, it's actually because the washing machine has two heaters rather than just the one. And the two heaters make the wash a lot faster. Um, the wash on it and um, the washes on it are all round about or under an hour so they are they're not long at all so they're not and they have two heaters um to you know heat the water up faster so it can get you know washed and all and that's such a short time to get the machine running on 13 amp it needs it can only be used with one heater rather than the two so as you can see with my one um one of the heaters is disconnected completely and the other one's all connected up. The left he the one the heater on the right, the one I've got connected up, is your main heater and it's the one that you're gonna want to keep connected up. And you're gonna wanna disconnect this one. You don't have to disconnect the you know, these wires from it. Um whenever I was doing this machine and sorting it all out, this machine of mine was a big massive conversion project taking two broken machines and building them into one fully working machine. And because of that, um, this machine was a much newer machine, so it was, it was a 2016 one. But I've got it on 2008 um, electronics, so I have. And because of that, the wire needed to be completely changed on it, and it was completely changed with the um, other um, donor machine that I had. And the donor machine was absolutely worked to hell, so it was to the point where one of the heater cables actually managed to burn out and catch fire. Um, it was used so much. Um, so you don't have to disconnect these if you want. Don't want to. Um, so you don't. But I've just dis I just don't have mine connected because of um just because of that and I changed the wiring room and all. However, there is something in it that you do want to disconnect. Um, and it's something on the main electronics. So you've got at the front your main display PCB. You've got your big PCB. Um, I can't remember. I think it's just a power, yeah, just a power board, that one. And then you've got a wee electronic unit at the back. Depending on the model, some of the um, the more basic professional ones don't have this electronic unit. But the one with the big display like this one does have it. And then in the middle here, you've got your heater relays. So this heater, this one on the left um, there, that doesn't have anything in it, is for the heater on the left. And the one on the right here, that does have stuff connected to it is for your main heater on the right and basically what you want to do for this to work um to have your machine running on 13 amp is you want to disconnect the left heater so you do you can see it there the left heater relay you want all of the wires from that all disconnected and you only want to have the one relay connected up um if you want to go further um to um you know protect yourself and make sure you can actually change the heater rating in the setting menu. Um, it's normally something that I'd never advise to do on a domestic washing machine. However, with this one, the heater rating will normally be, um, the default setting is like 5,400 watts. And you can turn it down if you want to, so you can. 
and it has a bunch of different settings. And this PCB, whenever I got this machine, um, I bought this PCB um, second hand. I bought all of these PCBs second hand for it. And the main PC, this one here, um, I got from a guy and it was already um, reconfigurated in the settings menu. And it's actually been configured so that it only works on 2100 watts. It works on the exact same wattage as a domestic machine. You don't have to change that if you don't want to. However, the main heater on the machine does use a higher wattage. So it does the one. I think it uses um like 2000, I think it's a 2500 watt heater or something like that. So it is, um, but that can still be run on 13 amp. 13 amp allows for 3000 watts. So it does, um, I'll, you know, I'll probably have a photo at the start of the plugs that normally are used on these ones. But as you can see, my one, it's really on a bog standard plug. So it is, um, you know, it's just a simple enough, um, it's just a simple enough 13 amp plug. It's, you know, the exact same as a domestic washing machine, so it is. And it is completely okay to use these machines on, um, you know, on domestic, um, on a 13 amp. So it is, you, you can do that. Um, Migo do make completely, well, they have their model numbers, like the PW6055, PW6065, PW5065, and so on and so forth. Migo do have a lot of different versions of the machines to the point where they sold um like I think about five or ten different versions of the same model and the differences was the electronics on it and whether it had a drain pump or a dump valve um all of them can be completely converted um you can take a Migo professional washing machine with a dump valve and I'm pretty sure that you can cheat that you can change it to a pump. So um, um, don't quote me on that though. I, but I do think that the that type of conversion is possible with them. So I do. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, I can't remember the phase of this one. I, um, I really can't remember. But I do know that obviously. Like I've been using this washing machine. I've had it. I think maybe around, maybe a year, I think. And like it runs absolutely grand on um the 13 amp. And I know a lot of others who have their machines on, who have these machines and use them on 13 amp. It's absolutely fine to use them on 13 amp. Um, so it is. But yeah, the only thing that you, um, you know, the only thing that you can touch is the main... You know, you just want to disconnect the heater relay. That's all that you need to do. Um, they're off. Um, you don't have to touch the heater wattage if you, the heater rating if you don't want to. Um, and I know it's something that quite a lot of um like engineers and stuff would advise against, but I just thought I'd put the heater rating thing in there because my one was changed, so it was by the um guy who um sold me the PCBs, and you know it is possible to tongue it down. And it's very handy for me that it can be toned down on that because if this machine, if I, if the heater rating was on full in the settings menu, it wouldn't be possible to for me to use this machine with another washing machine. So it wouldn't. So it is nice that Mega have that setting on it. But yeah, um, but yeah, it's a matter of um, you have to change, of course, the plug on it too because it has that big, um, commercial plug on it. And big massive thing so you do need to change it um i managed to buy this cable and set um you could buy all this um back part um off ebay so you can if you want sometimes they pop up um so i do um and that's what i done with this one i bought a whole new back part for it it came with the mains cable and the capacitors too i think on the lower wattage um it doesn't need the two capacitors, so it doesn't. I think that's it has them because of the five kilowatts. Um, if it's on that, but it's not something you don't have to touch that, and it's probably better off that you don't touch that. Um, you know. Um, but yeah. So all that you really need to do could, to convert one of these is just disconnect one of the heater relays. Um, this heater relay, and then that's it. Good to go. 
So it is, it's fine to work on farting amp. So yeah, um, I hope I helped you. So I do, um, you know, I hope that this video was useful as I know, um, I have asked, a few people have asked me, um, about it and I know quite a few people think that, um, it's not possible for these to be used on a standard electrical connection, but it absolutely is and it's absolutely fine to use them on that. So yeah, um, you know, I just want to try and help others. I hope that hopefully no one will complain in the comments. I just, you know, I just wanted to try and help them few people who asked me about it, you know. Um, but yeah, that's all that you have to do. Just disconnect free cables. Um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope this helped. And goodbye, everyone.